Hey everyone, this chapter I'm going to show you how to style your own contact form. So the contact form widget, you can find it in the widget library. As you guys remember, this template has three pages. So I've just opened my contact page because here's where I'm going to place the contact form. So if you open the widget library, you'll find a folder that says forms and you have two widgets here, detailed contact and simple contact. I'm going to drag out the simple contact. Okay, so the thing is that you can style and you can edit the forms, um, you can add more fields, and even if there's no field here that you can choose, again, you can actually type it, the name you can type it. So, for example, I'm going to open, wait, I'm going to hide this here, and I'm going to open the options now. I'm going to zoom in and open the options. So these are the standard fields. You can add more fields. So for example, I'm going to add um, website and I'm also going to add um, company. And you can choose all around here. You want the captcha. And what is important here is you have to, you can choose the form name or, and sorry, not or, and you can have to send, you have to type the, the email. Uh, when users visit you and want to contact you, then here you have to type the email you want them to contact you. It won't be visible to them, but you will receive it, okay? And, okay, so that's it. If there's no field, the field that you want is not here, so you can actually edit this. Instead of name, you can just type address or anything similar. Okay, so each one of the fields, and you can make it wider, longer, you can add other colors. So good thing is that once you edit one field, the rest of them will be edited too. So I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to resize because I want it exact. And here, click on 34. See how the other fields have increased. So I'm just going to move around because I don't like this distribution. So I'm going to move this over here and this one over here. And the message, I'm just going to bring it a bit lower. And I want the message box to look bigger. Okay, so I think this is fine. And this is the form message, so whenever it is received or something is cancelled, then it will appear here. So I'm just going to leave this down, and this button will be down here. Okay, so this is looking, it's looking different now. I'm just going to bring down the footer a little bit. Because I think I'll be adding other elements. So I'm going to add mm, a picture. This one over here. So first I'm just going to hide. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle. Because I want it as a header. And I'm going to fill it with that picture. So the picture is over here. So instead of original size, I'm going to scale to fill and I'm going to center it. Okay, so this is looking better. Okay, now I can hide it. Okay, I'm going to zoom back in. And bring this up to, um, I think I find this font. I'm going to change this font. So I've clicked here in text. It's Helvetica. Now I'm going to change to Railway. And let's say bring up the size to instead of 14 to 24. Great. So now this means I have to move the boxes a bit down. Uh, 
and this one too. Bring this one a little bit up and this one too. And I think we're done here. Okay, now it's looking better. So what else we can do here? Mm, let me think. Oh, this button. This is a state button. So what we can do is add some colors. I'm gonna, actually going to use this pink over here. So I have my swatches here. So click on it. Whenever it's normal, I want it to be like this. Also, it has a stroke because it's not really. So let's make it rounder up to seven. That looks better. And whenever it's normal, whenever we roll over, I'm going to change the color. And I'm going to choose this color over here whenever we roll over. That looks better. Roll over, mouse down, and submit in progress. I'm going to leave it like that. So let's go back to the normal state. And I think something else is missing here. I'm going to get the text tool and I'm going to write contact us. I want this big. And I'm also going to use railway heavy. This time it's going to be heavy. And I want this to be pretty big, so. Okay, and the color actually, I want a dark color, but I don't want it black, so I'm going to use this blue over here. Gray, so let's place it over here. And let me think. I'm going to add another text box. It says fill. Fill up the form below. Also using railway. This time is going to be the regular one. And let me think what else can we do. I'm going to bring up the size until 30. And we're going to change the color. It's actually the footer color. So I have the sample color here. Okay, so this is how you add some text. And I think in between, I'm just going to create a rectangle. which I'm going to resize and just two pixels height and the width. And just place it in between them. Okay, so this is looking better. So, one thing you should do now is select all of it, all the things that you consider to be the contact form, not only the widget, and group it. So, right click and click on group. So, now what you can, whenever you click on it, it'll be the whole. Okay? So I'm going to drag out again the widgets so you see the difference and you can see what else can you do with a simple contact form. So we started out with this and bring it down so you see it. We started out with this and turn it into this. So hope you guys like this tutorial. Thank you very much for watching.